because students get so used to it. They're like, oh, I remember this. I remember inequalities. All, you know, I remember my previous teacher, all they said was, whatever the arrow goes in, that's the direction where my inequality goes, yeah. right? And it's a very helpful hint. However, guys, if you want to follow that rule, the only time your inequality goes the same direction as your, um, as your inequality sign is when your variable is to the left. So therefore, what you'd have to do is you'd have to rewrite this so you can say like the, the inequality is eating the x, so it still has to eat the x. You have to write it like that, okay? So remember this says seven is less than x, or x is greater than seven, so I'd have to write it with x is greater than seven. Always write your variable to the left if you wanna follow the inequality sign. Because now you can see, oh, the inequality sign goes to the right, that means my graph has to go to the right. However, I also just wanna to prove to you guys that you don't always have to follow that along. Our three steps. First, find your point, seven. I make a big circle. Then I pick a point to the left, and I pick a point to the right. So you say seven is less than three, seven is less than seven, and seven is less than nine. Is seven less than three? Yes. False, right? <laughs> is seven less than seven? No. False. False, seven is equal to seven. And then we also know is seven less than nine? True. So therefore, that is going to be true. And remember, we always shade towards our true statements. Okay? So therefore, I'm going to shade in this direction. All right? And then if you guys notice, so if you would have looked at this, a lot of you just would have said, oh, it's going to go on the left. Be careful. You have to make sure you rewrite it with your variable to the left, and then you can say, oh, okay, it's gonna go in that right direction, all right? The other tip and trick you guys notice is remember, our less than or greater than, those are always gonna leave us what we call an open circle or an open dot. And when you have a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to, those are gonna give us a closed dot, all right? So you guys can use your points and say it out loud and determine you know, if it's true, false, and if it's gonna be shaded or not. Or you, know, you can also start, what you do is you'll start seeing some tips and tricks and noticing that it always work, you know, it's always gonna be shaded or open or closed for certain uh, inequality signs. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hey, sweat, sweat. <laughs>